Hello, Cancer. It's my lady from the Ladies Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August Ooh. 14th through the 21st, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. And we can set something up. All right. I don't know if I said this, but just make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if this doesn't resonate. All right. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. So, what's going on with the cancer? All right. So, somebody might be taking a trip or somebody is taking a trip to come to see you, cancer. Okay. All right, maybe moving closer to you. You moving closer to somebody. All right, can't say, can't say, can't say. Love reading eight, fourteen through twenty-first, two thousand seventeen. All right. Oh, geez. So I feel like somebody might be going to see a third party. One on a trip to see him. So something I haven't seen this card in a long time. But something has you up at night. Um, vivid dreams, nightmares. I see a bunch of crying. All right, so whatever this is, it's um, eh, it's got something to do with somebody using you. Somebody is pushing you down. I feel like somebody is uh, mentally abusing you. I feel like that's going on right now. I'm I'm feeling strong mental abuse. Okay, yeah, you're getting mentally abused right now. You're thinking about leaving. Yeah. Like, the, do I deserve this? Should I be here? You know? Like, riding home, crying, you know, before you get there. Yeah. I think you let go. Some of you let go. Some of you are getting ready to let go. Okay, this goes over here. I just want you guys to see it. Sorry the lighting sucks in here. I'm going to try to get it together. All right, yeah, so, but somebody is definitely letting go or let go because it's mental abuse. I I feel like it's mental and physical abuse going on here. Okay, so, I'm feeling this could be one of two things. I feel like this person might use alcohol or drugs to, um, I'm going to say, uh, as an excuse like oh I was drunk or I was high that's why I did that you know but in reality they did it because they wanted to do it this wasn't drug related it was already in their head before they started them drugs or I'm feeling like somebody is fighting somebody to leave like I'm arguing with you telling you all kinds of bad stuff and then you know uh, hit you and then leave and then come back and then I feel like I'm feeling like some of you are, um, it could be some bipolar thing. Like somebody is just like out of the blue, just go crazy and start like saying mean and bad stuff to you and hitting you and, you know, and then coming back to reality, like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. But that's what I'm getting like with these in and out and you know, you're thinking about leaving I know how it feels. I've been there. All right, so some secrets getting ready to come out. Or maybe when the secret comes out, or somebody's leaving because the secret is out, you know? Somebody found out what's going on, and then they start talking to you. Yeah. All right, yeah, so... I feel like you've been telling them that you're going to tell. This could be vice versa. This could be being done to you, too. I mean, done to you, or you could be doing this. But I feel like somebody kept saying that they was going to tell, they was going to tell, they was going to tell. I feel like you kept saying you're going to tell. And if you didn't tell, I feel like you're going to tell by the end of the month, and you're going to leave by the end of the month. Yeah, stop. Stop thinking and go. This is like a horrible situation. It's like, what next? Um... This is basically telling me no matter what you do, this person will never open their heart to you. They're not going to change. They're not going to change. They don't change. 
we do. You know? All right. What's going on? Somebody is doing this for money. So somebody's sticking around for material growth. Keep doing that. It's going to sting you. Believe me, nothing is free. You know? Might last a couple of months, but it's going to last for the rest of your life mentally. Never get over this kind of stuff. There it is again. So somebody is doing this for um, money. It's not worth it. Believe me. I, I know. <laughs> All right, so... There's nothing to laugh about, but I have been there. And I know how hard it is to get out. All right, Cancer. What's going on in Cancer? Love reading 8, 14 through 21, 2017. All right. I don't know if I cut the cards, but I feel like I should do them again. All right. Third party situation. So not only are they mentally and physically abuse you, I feel like when they're leaving you, they're leaving you for somebody else. So, I mean, for some of you, you might be the person on the side and they come and beating you up, giving you money and leaving. Mm. So, seems like y'all might have went to court about this situation and either you didn't press charges or you didn't have enough evidence. Or maybe somebody could be getting a divorce because of a third party situation. No. Third party, the, the, yeah, somebody wasn't trying to work hard to get somebody in, in trouble for what they did. So I'm feeling like, yeah, somebody didn't press charges. Mm. Yeah, because you're still thinking and contemplating on what you should do. Uh, run. All right, so let me read this out of the book. The book, I don't. Okay, so. Um, this card indicates silly workplace rivalry, boredom with your... Pos nope, sorry, that, that's the coins. I'm looking for cups. Three of cups. Um, movement toward a final completion. Obstacles have been cleared away for your quick movement. So it's basically like while this person is in jail or away, this is your time to pack up and leave and run away, you know? While you're still contemplating, go. Because... They're not going to get the time that you think if you did press charges. And if you didn't, they will be back. And it's not going to be that great. Well, it's going to be worse when they come back. All right. So now we got the Eight of Coins. Eight of Coins is reversed. It says a card of decreased, less money, less hours, possible layoff. Yeah, so this person ain't going to be giving you. You're not going to have the money that you had when you was with this person. But you will have your life. Okay, because these people will kill you. They will. All right, so the hermit. Um, a time of being alone, a time away from the world. Look at your life and consider it carefully. Um, rest and relax and find the answer. Loneliness may occur and betrayal from others may um, occur. Heal. So this is like... When all this go down, they family turn they back on you. Your friends turn your back on you because they feel like you lying or you're crazy or whatever because you're going through some kind of post-traumatic event because all this stuff happening to you. But shoot, you don't need nobody. You know, you go get you some counseling and, you know, you go find yourself. But run, okay? That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.